Welcome back, we to preview Saturday evening's Merseyside derby in the Premier League between Everton and Liverpool. Pascal, I'll start with the Wayside. Good win against West Ham last time out. That was a decent win. They've had some you know, bad results at Anfield this season and welcoming you know, one of the top half sides you know, like West Ham who have you know, been pretty good. Not so good on the road this season, but it was a, always going to be a difficult game. But yeah, 2 0 win without conceding is very positive. Obviously, Coutinho setting up both goals. He's having a really good run. Obviously, signed that new contract yeah. as well. So, you know, he played in Sterling for that first goal. Good finish from him. But obviously, the big headline in the game was the return of Daniel Sturridge. You know, to have him back is massive. It's almost like a sort of big money January signing, given you know how long he's been out, and especially as they didn't really do much in January. So, to have him back, you know, it was a good finish on his right foot. Not an easy chance. You know, quite a tight angle. Managed to sneak it in at the near post, and you know, chances like that, which wasn't you know a, you know a tap in by all means, but you know, quite a difficult chance. The amount of those sort of you know decent chances that Balotelli's had this season and not scored. You know, you wonder if they'd had Sturridge fit all season, how many more goals they would have scored because, you know, his finishing since joining Liverpool has been brilliant. You know, a real fox in the box and yeah, to have him back like that is a huge, huge boost for them because, you know, only four points off the top four and, you know, they really are in the mix, you know, pushing for sort of that, those third and fourth spots, which, you know, are really up for grabs. Yeah, you mentioned Southampton struggling lately. I mean, there's certainly places open in the top four, isn't there? And I think it's a new point lost in the league since losing to United before Christmas 3-0 and they played quite well in that game, didn't they? A lot of times with David De Gea was man of the match. Since then, not lost in seven and played some good stuff, haven't they? I think in the League Cup as well against Chelsea, they were, probably felt that they shaded it over the two legs and I think this they've started to play some good stuff again they've had their problems this season Brendan and Rodgers was under a lot of pressure in the season wasn't he defensive issues and I think like say Sturridge coming back is are they going to finish in the top four I'm not, I'm not, I'm not so sure I don't think they will but it's and obviously they've got a lot more chance now than they had earlier in the season with Sturridge coming back and if they can keep him fit I think keeping him fit is obviously the main thing that's important but like you say Balotelli He's nowhere near to be seen in the squad. I mean, it'll be interesting to see whether he does play at the end of the season. Certainly, you know, a massive month coming up for them now as well. Obviously, the Merseyside derby is a huge, huge game, and you know they'll be out there for revenge because you know in the, in the reverse uh, fixtures uh, they sort of dominate for large parts. It was one, you know, and then Jackie Elke, you know, fired home that absolutely incredible goal in you know the extra time. So they they want to get a win here, and you know they've got a massive month like I said coming up. They got Spurs, Southampton, and Man City in the next three Premier League games after this, and you know sandwiched in between those games is the two-legged uh, Europa League tie against Besiktas, which won't be easy. Obviously. I think Rodgers will really fancy themselves yeah. in the Europa League, you know. You know, one of the biggest sides in there, and like, like I said, with Sturridge coming back, you know, Coutinho playing a lot better. They've, they've definitely got a big chance in that competition, so huge, huge month for them coming up. Definitely moving on to the home side, obviously, they've been poor for themselves, haven't they? They've had a poor season overall and a poor run of form. Last time out against Palace, one at Palace as well, a Palace team that hadn't lost under Pardew, won all four games, so that was a great win for Kaku, wasn't it, with a goal, and that was their first win in seven in the league, which is quite surprising. I think they've lost nine times this season, and you're thinking... For a large chunk of last season, they were the team that had lost the fewest amount of games. They didn't lose many last season, did they? They obviously didn't finish in the top four, but they pushed Arsenal all the way, didn't they? Probably could have just edged it at the end, and they've had a poor season. It's not getting away from that, but players will be up for this game. The crowd will be up for the fact it's at Goodison Park as well, and they'll find some chances of getting the win. Definitely, and I think obviously the 5:30 p.m. kickoff, you know, at Goodison, there's a lot of talk about that. Merseyside Police have been trying desperately to yeah. try and scrabble to try and get it to an earlier kickoff time, but it hasn't happened. You know, I'm quite surprised they did do it that way around. I would, I would have thought of the two derbies, obviously it's the North London derby that day as well. I thought they might have put the North London derby as the later yeah. one. You know, I think you think the most side derby would be a bit rowdy, wouldn't you? But half five kickoff should be an incredible atmosphere. You know, a lot of the fans will be drinking during the day. It should be an unbelievable atmosphere. I think. But you mentioned Everton being at home, but they haven't been that good at home this season. Only three league wins at home all season. You look at the table, 26 points from 23 games. You know, it's not that many, and only seven points above the bottom three. So, you know. Yeah, they'll sort of look and maybe Liverpool they are in seventh you know they'll, they think if they win this game Everton they'll cut the gap to nine points back to single, single digits but if Everton are going to get into that top seven they need to have a like, monumental second half of the season you can't really see it happening you'll see it being a mid-table you'd be amazed if they get you know, dragged down into it because you know results last week against Palace are the ones they just hadn't been getting all season you know you look at the game against West Brom before that a game they should have won but nil nil there's been a lot of games which you know, they could have played better but they didn't they didn't dominate the game against Palace Palace were all over them in that game for a large part of it but to get away with the win they haven't had that sort of luck this season, but yeah, I think Everton, they're looking like a big table team at the moment, but yeah, it's a massive game, obviously. It's good about them trying to win the game. They've only won one of the last 16 derbies against Liverpool. I think they've lost eight, and so that's not good enough for the fans, not good enough for the players, not good enough for the club. And It's one of those games where it's always a bit special, and it's always a bit of extra spice, and like it's how good as some part evening kickoff. It should be a great game. What's your score prediction for this one? Yeah, I think, you know, it's a sort of cliche, but you really can't look at either side's form. I think it's just whoever deals with the yeah. pressure that day because the atmosphere, like we've said, will be incredible. It's just whoever deals with it better on the day. And I think I'm going to have to back Liverpool. That They have got a much better derby record in recent years and I'm going to go for a 2-1 away win. 2-1. I couldn't understand why you said I couldn't understand it being a 2-1 draw. I could see that all day. But I think if we a draw, I mean, Everton, I was going to back Everton, but... I said not in great form. I think Lukaku, if he plays well, Everton will have a chance. But if he doesn't, then I don't see where the goals are coming from. Morales is obviously important as well. So I'm actually going to back a draw. So we've got one, a 2-1 win for Liverpool and a 1-1 draw. Thanks for joining us.